we have been forced to a point where we're going to have to grapple with the problems that men have been trying to grapple with through history. But the demands didn't force them to do it. Survival demands that we grapple with the men for years now have been talking about war and peace. Well, no longer can we just talk about it. There's no longer a choice between violence or non-violence in this world. It's non-violence or non-existence. That's where we are. If something isn't done and in a hurry to bring the colored people of the world out of their long years of poverty, their long years of hurt and neglect, the whole world is doomed. Now, if I lived in China or Russia or any totalitarian country, maybe I could understand some of these illegal injunctions. denial of certain basic fundamental privileges because they haven't committed themselves to that over there. Somewhere I read a freedom of assembly. Somewhere I read a freedom of speech. Somewhere I read a freedom of the press. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America was its rights to protest for rights. And so as I said, we aren't going to let any dogs or water hoses turn us around. We aren't going to let any injunctions turn us around. We're going on. So let us rise up tonight with a greater readiness. Let us stand with a greater determination. And let us move on. In these powerful days, these days of challenge to make America what it ought to be, we have an opportunity to make a better nation. And I want to thank God once more for allowing me to be here with you. I don't know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead. But it doesn't really matter with me now. I've already been to the mountaintop. 